let's understand how can we convert a wing column number into general number for example we want to convert 4 3 bar into a general number 4 3 bar equals to 4 times 10 here we multiply number 4 with number 10 because 4 is in the tens place plus 3 bar now simplify this expression 4 times 10 equals to 40 plus 3 bar can be written as negative 3 therefore 40 minus 3 which equals to 37 hence 4 3 bar equals to 37 let's do another example we want to convert this number 2 3 bar 4 into a general number this can be rewritten as 2 times 100 plus 3 bar times 10 plus 4 now let's simplify this expression 2 times 100 equals to 200 now let's rewrite the second expression 3 bar times 10 can be rewritten as negative 3 times 10 and plus 4 let's simplify this expression 200 minus 30 plus 4 which equals to 174 therefore 2 3 bar 4 equals to 174 that's how simple it is to convert a wing column number into a general number let's do another example for instance we want to convert 6 7 bar 3 4 bar into a general number this equals to 6 times 1000 plus 7 bar times 100 plus 3 times 10 plus 4 bar times 1 now let's simplify these expressions 6 times 1000 equals to 6000 plus 7 bar times 100 is minus 700 plus 30 minus 4 now let's simplify this expression 6000 minus 700 is 5300 plus 30 minus 4 is plus 26 which equals to 5326 therefore 6 7 bar 3 4 bar equals to 5326 as you can see that as the wing column number gets bigger and bigger the procedure to convert the wing column number into a general number becomes more cumbersome the idea behind speed math techniques is to simplify the techniques so we can solve the problem faster now let's see how we can improve this procedure to do that let's take a simple example 1 5 bar we want to convert this wing column number into general number if you remember something that we have learned previously all from 9 and last from 10 we can apply that here to convert this wing column number into a general number here we subtract 5 from 10 so we get 10 minus 5 and we subtract 1 from the previous digit therefore we have 1 minus 1 now let's simplify these expressions 10 minus 5 equals to 5 and 1 minus 1 equals to 0 therefore 1 5 bar equals to 0 5 let's do another example 8 6 bar how can we convert this number into a general number here also we can apply the same technique we subtract 6 from 10 and subtract 1 from 8 therefore 8 minus 1 now let's simplify these expressions 10 minus 6 equals to 4 and 8 minus 1 equals to 7 therefore 8 6 bar equals to 74 
Let's do another example. 3, 5 bar, 7 bar. Now recall something. All from 9 and last from 10. First we subtract 7 from 10. And then we subtract 5 from 9. Since 3 doesn't have a bar above it, we can subtract 1 from 3. Therefore we write 3 minus 1. Now let's simplify these expressions. 10 minus 7 equals to 3, 9 minus 5 equals to 4, and 3 minus 1 equals to 2. And that's our answer. Now let's do another example. Here we can apply the same technique, all from 9 and last from 10. We subtract 8 from number 10 and 0 from 9. And we subtract 1 from previous digit. So we get 6 minus 1. Now we can simplify these expressions. 10 minus 8 equals to 2, 9 minus 0 equals to 9, and 6 minus 1 equals to 5. And that's our answer. Let's do another example. 3, 4 bar, 5, 0. We want to convert this wing column number into a general number. Since 0 doesn't have a bar above it, we can leave the 0 as it is. Same logic applies to digit 5. Now number 4 has a bar above it. Therefore, we can convert that into a general number. To do that, we subtract 4 from 10. And we subtract 1 from the previous digit. So we have 3 minus 1. Now let's just simplify these expressions. We have 0, 5, 10 minus 4 equals to 6, and 3 minus 1 equals to 2. Therefore our answer is 2650. Let's do another example. 5, 2 bar, 6, 4 bar. We subtract 4 from 10 and we subtract 1 from the previous digit. So we have 6 minus 1. Since digit 2 has bar above it, we subtract 2 from 10 and we subtract 1 from the previous digit. So we have 5 minus 1. Now let's simplify these expressions. 10 minus 4 equals to 6. 6 minus 1 equals to 5. 10 minus 2 equals to 8 and 5 minus 1 equals to 4 and that's our answer. Let's do another example. Let's take a bigger number 2, 0, 3 bar, 6 bar, 0, 1 bar, 3 bar, 1. We can apply the same logic here to convert this wing column number into a general number. Since 1 doesn't have a bar above it, we leave the 1 as it is. Now subtract 3 from 10 and 1 from 9 and subtract 1 from the previous digit. So we have 0 minus 1. Now again, since 6 has a bar above it, we subtract 6 from 10 and 3 from 9 and we subtract 1 from 0 and we leave the 2 as it is. Now let's simplify these expressions. We have 1, 10 minus 3 equals to 7, 9 minus 1 equals to 8, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. We can write it as 1 bar. 10 minus 6 equals to 4, 9 minus 3 equals to 6, 0 minus 1 equals to 1 bar and number 2 as it is. Now we still have two more digits with bar above them. Therefore we can still simplify this further. Leave the 1 as it is. 7, 8, subtract 1 from 10 and 1 from the previous digit. So we have 4 minus 1. Keep the 6 as it is. Subtract 1 from 10 and subtract 1 from the previous digit. So we have 2 minus 1. 
Now simplify these expressions. We have 1, 7, 8, 10 minus 1 is 9, 4 minus 1 is 3, 6, 10 minus 1 is 9, and 2 minus 1 is 1. And that's our answer. We can approach this problem in a different way also. Let's understand how. Now remember something here. If you have a zero without the bar in between the left and right digits with bar above them, then bar should be placed above the number zero. Therefore, this number can also be written as like this. Now let's convert this wing column number into a general number. We leave the 1 as it is because 1 doesn't have a bar above it. We subtract 3 from 10 and 1 from 9, 0 from 9, 6 from 9 and 3 from 9. And then we subtract 1 from previous digit. Therefore we have 20 minus 1. Now simplify these expressions. We keep 1 as it is. 10 minus 3 equals to 7. 9 minus 1 equals to 8. 9 minus 0 equals to 9. 9 minus 6 equals to 3. 9 minus 3 equals to 6. And 20 minus 1 equals to 19. And that's our answer. As we have said previously, the idea behind speed math techniques is to simplify the technique so we can do the math faster. I hope that you guys keep that in mind when applying speed math techniques.